All right, Miss Aurora is back, Secured Entrepreneurs. You all know that Miss Aurora does her very best to kick out as much information as she can during the week, uh, during the day, while working with all of you. And I want to thank all of you for emailing. Please continue to do so on info at auroradayconsulting.com. In today's video, Miss Aurora has got to get into legacy wealth building and protecting your assets simply because we had two new secured entrepreneurs come on last week, came on board last week, and we had to put some fires out. We had to do some restructuring and there was a miniature disaster going on that we were able to assist in remedying. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that all of you trust Miss Aurora to help you to restructure your businesses, build your businesses, build your legacies. Okay. So let's get into what's really happening because we see what's going on in the world. I'm not even getting into the, you know, what's going on in this country, but we, we know that this is the time that we have to stand. We have to really do whatever is necessary to come out here and, and make life the best, not only for ourselves, but for our future generations. All right. Can we do it? All right. So for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard it right. Stick around. We all know this is the secured entrepreneur movement. All right, now, Secured Entrepreneurs, before we get into this, let Miss Aurora make this announcement. The next group sole proprietor to CEO program is taking place on August the 1st, Thursday, August the 1st at 4 p.m. PDT. All right, so it is four weeks, one hour a week for four weeks on a Thursday where we will get together and we will have a full blown training on anonymous LLCs and irrevocable trust. You will receive two anonymous LLCs. You will receive one private trust. You will have access to all of the bonus trainings in the back office and 90 days consulting. Each person is going to have 90 days consulting with Miss Aurora. Okay. So that is the group so proprietor to CEO program. You can go down in the description box and catch that link. Check it out. Sign up ASAP because this is a small group. I really only want 10 people at a time for these groups so that everyone, you know, gets all their questions answered and all of the assistance as we are building your entities and building your businesses to produce legacy wealth. All right. So here we go. So Mr. Aurora wants to start with the importance of legacy wealth. Please understand that legacy wealth building is more than the monetary assets that you're going to leave behind for your future descendants long after you are gone. Legacy wealth has way more to do with your knowledge, your wisdom, your skills, your expertise, your values, the values that you hope to instill in the individuals that you are around today, your children, your grandchildren, you may have great grandchildren, okay? Your future grandchildren, your future great grandchildren that you'll be here to see. What are the values that you are instilling that they can clearly see you living by today? That is the legacy. That is legacy wealth. So it doesn't matter how much money you actually have. Okay. Also, I want you to bear in mind because we get a lot of secured entrepreneurs who come on board, not because they're actually in business yet, but they have a situation where they have had a parent or a grandparent to transition. Now they have, uh, you know, a home, they've got certain things they don't know the value of, they need help. You know, how do I get this appraised? Who do I call? I've called several people. They said different things. Mr. Rora, can you help us? Like we get a lot of situations like that where people just don't have information that has been passed down so that they know what to do. Okay. Not in this video, but I think I'm going to, okay. I'm going to do a second video because we've got some estates that are fighting right now. Okay. I mean, total fighting right now because these things were not put in place properly 
And it's a shame when it has to make the mainstream news because why, why does the public need to know about this? But it works to the secured entrepreneur's benefit because this is what we're here to care for in this present day. This is what we're here to care for. Okay. So I want you to understand that it is important for you to begin to understand that you, you are the legacy. That's the first thing you are the legacy. You are the legacy and you are important. You are valuable. So never negate the fact that you have, you are on this planet because there is something that is going on with you, within you. It's something that is external. Okay. That you are here to effect so that people get better, so that people become enlightened about something, all right, before they transition on to the next phase of their soul's journey. Please understand that if you are not in it to win, it, everyone that comes after you will be lost. I don't need to tell you that. We see it in the world today. We see what's going on. We see what we allow to be placed in front of not only ourselves, but our children, our grandchildren, and we're just going right along with it. We're eating it up hook, line and sinker. We've got, we've got parents who are still sending children to school. Why? Because they have to be out there working. They have to keep a roof over their head. Nobody really wants to be content with the fact that, okay, maybe there's one person who is uh, earning the money. But because so many things are being put in our face, we want to strive for the more, which in, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's going to be at the expense of other people. And then at the end of the day, all these people are trying to come back home and be in the house together. Now you've got all this outside energy that comes into the house. Now we've got turmoil. I very rarely meet people who live in, who live in an environment that is harmonious because Everybody in the environment is out in the world all day being inundated by energies that now come back into this nucleus. Okay. And we, we have some problems. There's some problems. So number one, the importance of legacy wealth, please get that. The second thing that Mr. Roy is going to get into simply because this is what was going on with one of the new secured entrepreneurs, the challenges that sole proprietors face, the challenges that sole proprietors face. And the key thing that I'm going to get on here is the lack of continuity. Now, this new secured entrepreneur has an amazing business. I mean, I'm talking amazing, invested a whole lot of his own money from the job that he goes to every day. And he thought that he could do this thing on the side. You know, his wife is assisting. He has a son that is assisting. Okay. But because there was no, there was no research done as to how we set this up properly. The way this thing has gone down, if in fact, because it's been making money, Okay. But we got to do some trademarks. There's some copyrights that need to be done for a lot of the things that they have going on. And we got some new distribution channels happening for the product that this family has created. However, if something were to happen to uh, this new secured entrepreneur, which is the husband, the wife would not have been able to take over this business. The son would not have been able to take over this business a few reasons why. First of all, they don't even have access or they did not have access to the bank account that the husband opened to operate, to receive this money, to pay bills. All of these things was just not together, not together. You know, this is one of the reasons why we had to add to the sole proprietor CEO program, uh, bookkeeping 101, because we have found that many of the secured entrepreneurs do not know how to keep their own books. They did not have the proper documentation. 
the proper financial documentation. Anybody who was going to come into this thing was going to catch the surprise of their lives because it was a mess, <laughs> okay? And many entrepreneurs operate that way simply because they're going it alone, okay? And second to that, I'm gonna get into the tax inefficiencies, OM to the G. Okay, this is this is the problems that you know so proprietors have the tax inefficiencies again. How many times that Miss Aurora has to share with all of you that if you are not properly structured, you are paying all of the tax. You don't have a way to legally defer that taxation. It does not work. So the wife was saying. I just cannot understand how much this business was costing us. And we're working our tails off. We see that the product is selling, but where was the money? We got this person, you know, doing the tax file and everything, but we're owing. How is this happening? We were using our son as a dependent. Like there was, there was so much going on and they did not know that the husband who was filing married, but I think it's a married, but filing separately, they weren't filing jointly. And, you know, he was, he was filing as a self-employed. There's the additional tax. And he was putting down all the money that was being made between, and this was funny, between the job that he works on and this, what they were calling a side hustle that weren't even taking the business seriously, even though the, the product sales equal more weekly than what this gentleman was making monthly. No joke. How many of the secured entrepreneurs are having that experience or actually had that experience, which is why they left their job because they started making more money in the business that they started. This is serious. So I want you to pay attention to the actual problems that you're having if you are still operating as a sole proprietor. And here's the next thing, transitioning to the CEO mindset. The reason why this gentleman fell into what he fell into with his family and the reason why many entrepreneurs fall into this trap that we're discussing is because you never think that you're valuable enough and you never see yourself as a CEO. So you never take on the CEO mindset. You are still, you know, playing this game as an employee. You're still wearing the employee helmet. Okay. But when it is that you take on the CEO mindset and you begin this transition, now you've got all of the legal and the financial advantages. Okay. This is, the thing that we're getting into in the sole proprietor to CEO program. So please be sure to sign up for the group program that starts Thursday, August 1st. I need to really get into the protection of the assets because this thing was about to be so bad for this gentleman. Like I said, they had to borrow some money because they were behind on their mortgage. So now you're losing the house behind on the car note. Now you're losing the car. But before even getting behind on the car note, they were behind on the uh, car insurance. Okay. And there's things going on with that. Now we got to figure out how we're going to be, you know, on the road, you, you know, without riding dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know, many of us have had to ride dirty because you just could not afford that uh, car insurance because we know that most of the time car insurance is like another car note. Okay. So this is about changing getting into a position where you now change the way that you're actually living. Now, how is it that you're going to protect your assets? So one of the things that, you know, we're going through with this gentleman is getting into the right legal entities, getting into the right legal, legal entities. And how is it that you are now protecting your home, even though you have a mortgage, what is it that you can do to protect your home, even though you don't own the home. Cause this is another misconception that a whole lot of people have. When you have a mortgage, you are just a glorified renter. The bank will own that home until you finish paying the bank. Now, one of the things that we teach people here in the secure entrepreneur movement, 
pay close attention. Now, no one argues with me on this. People will immediately start to do the homework because it's like, okay, what? Because one of the things that a lot of people who vibrate low and are very angry with this country, and I'm going to do another video about this argument that, well, somebody tried to argue with Mr. Roar. Mr. Roar doesn't even bother with, with all of that. But it had to do with the video that Miss Aurora did talking about how, you know, these foreigners are coming here and they're catching the wind in this country. They are realizing their American dream. Meanwhile, citizens, people who are born here, don't even go down this road. And then, you know, we get all salty and jacked up. So one of the things that was happening with this gentleman was, okay, we need to catch up on the mortgage. We need to catch up on uh, the, the car note, the car insurance. Uh, we, we need to figure out how we're going to pay the taxes. Okay. So when I'm telling you that you do not own the property until you pay the mortgage uh, company, till you pay the bank, the lending, the pretender lender, all these people like that. The other argument is, well, you still don't own the property if you, um, if you don't pay the property taxes, well, you still don't own the property. If you are hooked up in HOA. Okay. Most of the secure entrepreneurs know that I am 100% against homeowners associations. That is the biggest scam and farce running. People buy into it all the time for their reasons. And then they realize they have to quickly get out of it for a variety of reasons. Okay. That is an additional expense for them to do what it has to make sense for the, for the people who buy into planned unit development, right? Okay. So the way that you're actually going to own, whether it be land or whether it be a landed estate or real estate for the most part, and we're not going to get into eminent domain and all that. So don't start making those comments or sending those emails because Mr. Royal will tell you something about that as well. <laughs> Anyways, when it is that you understand how to properly acquire the property, your concern for paying property tax goes out the window because you will not, you will not have to do that. Okay. Now, if you, if you are moving forward to buy this property, to acquire a property with an entity that does not have an exemption, well, the property is going to be on the, 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 the tax payroll. The, the property is going to be on the tax payroll. We, that that's just something that's going to happen. Okay. When you learn how to acquire property using the correct legal entity, that's no longer going to be anything that would be of your concern. But again, all of the entrepreneurs who come on board, every single entrepreneur who comes on board has a different agenda. You know, we get a lot of real estate investors who come on board and I'm talking uh, in this country, outside of this country, as you, you all know, Mr. Roy helps a lot of individuals uh, create entities in this country because this country allows foreigners to create uh, United States uh, companies. They get to create companies here and they don't have to be a citizen of this country. That is true and correct. Okay. So this is what we do all day, every day. So you protecting your assets is vital. And part of that is going to, it has to, has everything to do with you acquiring those assets within the proper legal entity. Some of you are going to need to acquire things uh, in, inside of an anonymous limited liability company for the reasons that you, that you have for having those things, for whatever it is you're going to do, whether you're going to be buying and selling, whatever it is you're going to do. Many of you are going to need to acquire those properties uh, inside of uh, an exempt irrevocable trust because that is going to be the family estate. This is going to be the place where, oh, I'm growing uh, my food. I'm housing my chickens. 
Okay. I'm housing parents. I'm housing grandparents. I'm, I'm providing a way for my children's children to be here. This, this estate is, is an actual business. Okay. And we have, uh, plenty of estates that are actually operating that way. One that comes to mind quickly, uh, that, that, uh, my best friend from high school and I went to visit uh, the Hertz, the Hertz castle. They are still operating uh, on that estate. They are, they are giving their, and I, I don't want to say this because it, 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 it's sensitive to, you know, it's sensitive to some people, but they are connected with the, I think it's the whole foods there and some other kind of like a whole foods, uh, natural, whatever they're, they're, they're providing things, you know, so, so it's in operation. And, and then, and then the other side of that is how they turned it over. Uh, I think it is to the city for, you know, the tourism. Okay. The, the, the whole estate is in operation regardless. Okay. They even have some zebras as you roll up to the property on the beach, there are herds of zebras out there. And when we got in there, we asked the, the, the tour guide, uh, uh, is there a reason why we're seeing zebras in California? And the lady said, oh yeah, those are some of the descendants of the zebras that escaped when the San Diego zoo came to, you know, empty this zoo because Mr. Hertz had a zoo in there that probably, you know, the reason why Michael Jackson had the idea to have a zoo at his home too, but this man had a zoo in there and some of the animals escaped. So not only are there zebras, but there are other animals out there that they just let roam because they are the descendants of some of the animals that escaped when the zoo uh, tried to come, you know, and imprison their behinds. And they were like, okay, no, we're not doing that. Right. <laughs> okay. So I'm just saying, this is about thinking big, thinking outside of the box. Hello. Hello. Let's go. Okay. I think those are the main points that I wanted to touch on in this video because there's some other things that I really need to talk about today uh, before uh, I have the last two calls. And again, I want to thank everybody who gets on the calendar. I want to thank all of the secured entrepreneurs who email everything, everything. Okay. And I really, I really hope that you like, you share, you comment, you subscribe to this channel because there are five months left in this year. If you do not know by now that it is time for you to rise up in your own autonomy, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how else Mr. Rory can help the entrepreneurs who are coming out here who are ready to really, really, really be in business and really, really, really make a difference, really have the ability to do things for yourself, for your children, you know, for the world, period. That's, that's, that's what we're here for. All right. So you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, 